Hello, everybody. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Today's devotional is titled Pablo Neri Hernandez, brought to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez. The biblical base today is Revelations 14. Here is the perseverance of the saints who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. Amen. The men and women who raised high the flag of faith, who gave their strength in the work for the growth of the church that day, remains in victory, will be honored, remembered, and renowned in future generations, perpetrating each of their works under the slogan of faithful service and high regard for the work of the Lord. Pablo is part of the offspring of the faithful and distinguished missionary Angel Hernandez and Blanca Ceballos. He was born as the first male child in Cuba, received in the arms of the first missionary couple of our church. Brother Neri, as he was known by all, had five more siblings. Love came when he was young, when he met the distinguished Miss Claudia Silverio. At the age of twelve, he was immersed in the waters of baptism, converted to the Lord, and gave his life to his service. His love for the work of Christ began in his youth, and his work with our founder, Daddy John, at the printing press located in Playa de Barcoa, Cuba, demonstrates it. In addition, he strongly collaborated in the construction of the Daddy John residence for the elderly in Colón, Cuba. Upon settling in the United States, he served with his wife in Chicago, Illinois. Furthermore, they collaborated strongly in New Jersey. His health problems began to worsen after being pitifully subjected to surgery. From that moment, he suffered from his sight and other diseases followed. In 2012, he wanted to renew his vow with the Lord and decided to wait again on the promise of the Holy Spirit. The Lord blessed him, giving not only a message to him, but the whole church. You are in the final stretch, and my mercy has covered you. I have forgiven all your sins. Are you ready to meet me? My people have deliberately given up my second commandment. If they do not repent, I will descend and give each disobedient his just reward. No more sins. Disobedience will have no part with me. It is finished. Amen. Today, the people of God rejoice to have had in their ranks a faithful soldier of Christ, a lover of praise, an enthusiastic man, and fighter for the church of God and his family. Amen. My brothers and sisters, once again, we read of a man who dedicated his life to the service of the king. And even though in his life there was a point where he struggled, where he turned away, he rededicated, he renewed his life to God by waiting on the Holy Spirit once again. My brothers and sisters, no matter what you go through, no matter what path you take, no matter how far away you stray from the Lord, you can come back. God is waiting with arms open wide for you. You may be in the final stretch. You may be in the beginning of your life. You may be in the middle of your life, full of health and vitality. But my brothers and sisters, no matter where you are, God is waiting for you with his arms open wide. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.